the next episode of Barry Science Lab Astronomy. Today we're talking about Earth's sister planet, Venus. Venus is one of the most hellish planets, but it's very similar to Earth. Why is that? Let's go ahead and check it out in today's episode. So, why is Venus the hottest planet if Mercury is the closest to the sun? Great question. The reason why Venus is the hottest planet in our solar system is due to one aspect of the planet, and that is its atmosphere. Venus, unlike Mercury, has an atmosphere. Why is that? Well, because Venus has a larger mass, it can afford to trap gases uh, like sulfur uh, closer to its surface, unlike Mercury, which is too small to trap any gases. And because of these gases in Venus's atmosphere, we have the greenhouse effect. The greenhouse effect uses the atmosphere of Venus almost as a blanket, smothering the entire planet in solar radiation, causing temperatures upwards of 900 degrees Fahrenheit. That means if you stand on Venus, well, actually you can because you'd be burned alive. That's how hot it is. It's like standing in, the, in the, an oven or in a microwave. And in fact, Venus had two landers land on it, and we'll be talking about them later as well. But Venus's atmosphere also has some benefits. It's what causes us to see Venus here from the Earth. Venus's atmosphere has a high albedo, meaning it reflects a lot of sunlight, which means Venus is the brightest planet in the night sky and the most brightest object in the night sky after the sun and the moon. 1975 was a remarkable year. Soviet scientists, USSR, Soviet scientists, and Venera, Venera robot to Venus, not only once, twice. However, it didn't survive long. It survived only 20 minutes. You want to know why? Good question. The Soviet Union actually sent many missions to Venus, but NASA didn't send as many. I wonder why. Except for the Magellan probes, NASA didn't have much business towards Venus, but had a lot greater interest towards Mars. But Soviet Union sent up to 16 missions to Venus, and these were called the Venera missions. Some of them even landed on Venus, and they operated for uh, 20 minutes, but some lasted up to an hour. These missions transmitted data back to the Earth, uh, giving us topographic data of the Venusian surface, giving us a little bit of the atmospheric composition of Venus, and even taking pictures of Venus, of the Venusian surface, and sending them back to Earth. In fact, these Soviet Union missions were the first uh, probes to take sound from another planet and return them back to the Earth, and take pictures from another planet and beam them back to Earth, and they were the first probes to ever land on a different planet and send them back to Earth. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Barry Science Lab Astronomy on Venus. We'll see you in the next one.